Disclaimer, we filmed this video in our studio during the circuit breaker period under the application and approval granted by Ministry of Trade and Industry. As a company, we are committed to adhering to safety measures and you can be assured we practice safe distancing, temperature taking and follow the relevant guidelines provided. Thank you for your understanding and we hope you enjoy the video. Like how you, how you say guinea pig? Guinea? Oh yeah, oh my god, Guinness, right? What is up, y'all? It's Wednesdays. So that means we're halfway through the week. And it's time for another episode of The Good Scoop. All right, and over here, we have a new and improved Aiken. Yes. <laughs> I call myself a national treasure. And my name is Das, for those of you who do not know, because I just should introduce myself, because hey. apparently the host doesn't know what to do. First things first, we go and address the headlines. Because of this whole COVID-19 situation, students stand to gain. Why? For some national exams, the topics covered are now going to be reduced. To find out more about what topics they're going to reduce, y'all, stay tuned. So for the first piece of news, Comfort Delgro taxi drivers are receiving knitted bands to put at the back of their masks when they wear it so it reduces the abrasion on their ears. They call it a ear look mask for an extended period so that it prevents like irritation and all those things la. Yeah, so there's 500 of these being sent out to them now and it's all like hand knitted and I think it's so cute. Moving on! So a new way to spread positivity guys at Bedok Reservoir. So someone actually brought their dog right and went to doodle at the car park with chalk to spread some positivity. Wow, normally that be vandalism y'all but I guess circuit breaker out here just... When I saw this I was thinking, hey how come uh, they are allowed to do that. You know, because our Singaporean mentality is always like, oh, did the person do something wrong first before we can actually appreciate what's happening? Yeah. I'm just going to be positive and say it, I smile. I think it's very good lah, this initiative. So positive. Oh my god, and you can take photo and you can put it as your Zoom background. Like the, see you, uh, see you next year. <laughs> yeah, especially well, if you have a very ugly background in your house. If your house is damn ugly, you can use it as a background. That's for positivity, y'all. Moving on. So now, we are here to talk about the most important news that everyone probably came to this video for. Yes, it's true. There are some topics that will not be tested for national exams. So according to this paper, for P6 math, speed, volume, pie chart, solid figure and net. Eh, it's like literally 50% of the topics gone. I hated speed. Remember you had to draw the, like, the line. The triangle, the triangle. Then they asked you when the, the car meets. Like, oh, oh, this car and then a train, oh at which point do they meet? How I know? If you all don't score A for your math PSLE, right? I don't know what you're doing. You must take advantage of COVID-19, okay? Moving on, all levels, right? Literally, almost every single subject they're cutting down on stuff, eh? Chemistry, E-math, A-math, physics, bio. Ah! Chemistry, I'm very glad that they are taking out the organic, organic chemistry. chemistry. That I am very, I support this. Because I don't understand organic chemistry until today. The only thing I remember from the chemistry is the isotope. You know what's isotope? I guess. I don't, I don't know, know but, but like, yeah. where was COVID when I was taking all that ball? Okay, like we cannot wish for COVID. Okay, fine, fine, <laughs> but, but still, yeah. organic eh. Okay, never mind. Let's go on to A levels, okay? Physics, I don't know anything about physics. Chemistry, chemistry is nanomaterials. Math is correlation and linear regression. And further math is non parametric test. Wait, Too stupid for further the math. The correlation is the. The dot 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 dot. The dot. statistics, right? Yeah. Can you use calculator one, yeah. right? Okay, why you all take out this one? This one's okay, what? I swear, they're making the paper harder. You know this one is free marks for you Yeah, that's why it's easy. I mean, not, not, not easy, but like you can use this. What graphic calculator? Hello, MOE, excuse you. Jesus Christ. Okay, but what? breaking news. <laughs> we just found out from our producer that there's actually even more topics that are being cut down. Um, insert all the topics being cut down here. Yeah, maybe if not enough space, we put in the description box. Yeah, because apparently yeah. a lot is taken out lah. So, oh my god guys, if you're not satisfied with your A-level grades, O-levels, good news, retake it this year. Go and retake and then go and score well and then go and find a cure for COVID. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much, guys. Moving on. Okay, so very exciting, right? Like, not very exciting. Huh? Also, concession card holders who are not using their monthly passes, they will be actually given a re refund for their unused value. Wow, so that's basically, you so know, exciting. Yeah, I know. Because I remember last time when I was in like primary and secondary school, I had an Ezlink card. That every month, you go and top up $50 and you get unlimited usage, you know. You can test like free, you know. 
Wow. Yeah, so now for those of you who are staying at home, it would be refunded back to you. How thoughtful SMRT or whoever the person is who is thinking about doing this? I mean like, I would expect that if I'm not taking your trains, I wouldn't want to be, you know, paying $50 just saying so. Yeah. Thanks for doing that. I mean, right. but you see, they still need the money right, to continue the costs of running the train. Like now they have new SMRT ambassadors also need to pay them. But yeah. the government is actually sacrificing that and giving us back the money which is very good. So for monthly concession passes bought between uh, bought before April 4th and between April 4th and 20, the 21st, right, you will be given a refund. What a genius idea. Are you happy, Nicole? Do you have the concession? Moving on! So like, one thing that like Circuit Breaker has taken away from us is allowing us to go out, I guess. Yeah. Um, duh. And also like, you know, going to the movies, the theatres. But John Theatres has been taking amazing measures to make sure that the seats still look like this and not like this. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Ew. Yeah, I can see it. Ew. Ew. So right, according to the paper that's in front of me, they have been sanitizing and like making sure that the seats, everything is still like pristine. No, but maybe also it's a good time, you know, this COVID-19 period, since they cannot do any work, right? They can focus on cleaning. Because last time movies are back to back, you don't have time to like full on clean. Yeah, okay? but the thing is because like some cinemas actually like, they didn't bother, like they were like, oh, okay, um, just leave it like that, right? Yeah. And then a seat became super moldy. It looks like they are currently harvesting fungi in their cinema. Oh, okay. So they wanted to make it a Singapore Botanical Gardens. Is it one exhibit at the Straw Centre? I mean, Straw Centre, I mean. It's not Singapore because Singapore be pristine. Yes. Yes, yes. But yeah, thank you so much. So when you know phase two, phase three or whatever finally allows us to go out, we can sit on the seats and know that we're truly just sitting on seats and not fungus. Moving on. Okay, so last piece of news. Mo okay, I'm so sorry to the Japanese community. First things first, if yeah. I butcher this name, I'm, I'm very scared. Um Mori Hamako. She's the Gun Gun Gunyas Ganyas Gun how do you pronounce it? Guinness. Guinness. Guinness <laughs> World Record holder for being the oldest gamer grandma. So And she is in the Guinness Book of Records for being the oldest girl who has never tried Guinness. Like how you how you say guinea pig? Guinea? Oh yeah, oh my god, Guinness, right? Did you just walk into that on your own? I just realised. It's okay. Anyway, so what has she done? Can we get to that? She's she's basically a pro gamer for Call of Duty. Someone needs to get her on NOC Place. Yeah, I think she should join. Ayman, can you please contact uh, her? I give you her name. Mori ha Hamako. Okay, you can contact her. I'll slide into her DMs. Yeah, and then y'all can like zoom. Oh my god, actually, yeah. That's a great idea. But I'm sure she's already getting a lot of these offers. But I think NOC, we will get to her first. And that is all for the good scoop. Now leave something positive, keyword positive down below and... And also to continue the positivity, right? Follow us on all our socials and if you have anything to advertise, send us an email here. Remember to click here for more and, and click, click here, here to, to subscribe. subscribe. Bye! Bye.